Welcome to Second Street Antiques and Collectibles. Let's go in. Glasses. Hey mom, do we have this Mickey, I mean a uh, mini mug? We have one like that. Do we actually have the mini or do we have the Mickey? We have I think that we have one with the, all of them. Right? Okay. Still looking for my Steins to finish off my Budweiser collection too. That one's been a hard one to find so far. Christmas ones though. It's a great movie right there. The mask. <laughs> Shred glasses. Who knows when they came out with the movie? I believe, at least I believe that's when they kind of did those, was when that came, first came out. The old fire hydrants. Betty Boo. Ooh. That's a nice lunchbox. I think we can get it. Five bucks. Can't go wrong. They used to have a full Disney train in here. I wonder if somebody must have bought it. Yep. <laughs> There's another one. No, I just gotta find my mom to make the handoff. Kind of a cool old Pinocchio wooden puzzle. Looks like it might be missing a piece though. But that was the hard part about wood puzzles back in the day. Usually you always lost one piece.
can we find in here? Look at this. That's cool. Looks like it might be missing a joystick right there, but overall, still uh, looks to be in good condition. Funkos. I'm always on the lookout for new Funkos for the collection. Of course, usually I find Disney, but if I find something that's cool, that's a different character that I like, enjoy. I usually like to snag them if I can. An old view master. Wow, wow. Well, now that's cool. Eighty five bucks. Not this time. I think we'll go downstairs quick. Can't read this bell. Yeah. Bell, huh? yeah. Then if you ever want something, you can just ring it, you know? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Huh? did not score in were the fourth and the seventh and they didn't even bat 
in the seventh inning. Quinn Kruger got the start on the mound and got the victory. Well, Thomas Children finished it off. It just keeps line. going. I think one of the harder things that I've been trying to find too is more like Christmas and Halloween stuff. I mean, up here in Minnesota, it's a little bit tougher because you don't have a lot of Disney collectors, I'd say. You could probably find them more obviously towards the south is where I found my better stuff. So, if you ever know somebody who's selling some Disney stuff, feel free to contact my business email with what they have, pictures, what they're asking. And I will try my best to respond back. That's creepy. All the life magazines. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you guys do subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you know when I upload my next video. And comment where you'd like to see some other places. Would you like to see restaurants, more bars, kind of thing, food? Do you want to see road trips, like just driving, just kind of being like a passenger point of view? Or what would you guys like? Anything over here? Yeah, let's see 3PO. Star Wars is very collectible nowadays. Especially now that you have the Rise of the Resistance right at Disney World. Kind of gave more people a spark to get into it. Especially the younger generations. Now we're going to go back up. Okay. Let's be honest. That looks like it would be fun to slide down. Uh, the inner kid in me would be happy. I have that Mickey phone in my collection already. I wonder what they're asking for theirs. Looks like 65 and that's even without a box. Wow. Oh, there's Grumpy in there. He might be worth getting a look at. Pocahontas glass. Who do we got behind? Another Pocahontas from Burger King series. Very cool. And this is why you guys gotta check every nook and cranny when you go antiquing because you never know what you're gonna find in the corners. Like a sock monkey. Now oh, that's on my list too is sock monkey, of course. Cute little salt and pepper shaker. I actually do have these as well. They want how much do they want? 18 for the pair, nine bucks a piece. That's actually not too bad. That's pretty fair. Look to be in nice condition. Okay, 
if Mario's in my an in the antique store, that means I'm definitely getting old. I'm not ready to admit that yet. Well, hi. Do one more quick walkthrough just to make sure I hit all the spots. So that'll do us here for this video guys. If you enjoyed this video like I enjoyed making it for you, make sure you hit that like. Comment where you'd like to see next. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.